Hello, I think I'm recording. Let me see. Hang on. Okay. I'm back. And, alright, in this episode, okay, this is going to be for, uh, this TI-994 Ray, this is what this is about, and let me, let me explain here, okay, so, let me get this going here, okay, so this is the TI-994 A. it's like from, uh, I'm not going to go into the history of it, but, uh, I knew about this growing up in the 80s, and I always thought it was a, it was a good looking computer, uh, it was interesting, I never had one until now. Uh, I got this one a couple months ago, and I thought it was, you know, it was pretty cool, uh, but then when I got it, uh, I wasn't really happy with the basic in it. The, the basic is, is kind of slow, but... Uh, and the keyboard, I mean, it, they need to, you know, they should have had a backspace key, you know. But anyways, to get to know this computer better, I'm going to type a program on it from a compute magazine. And and this video is mainly, it's going to be for all the people out there that uh, wanted to get in retro computers and, and seen these uh TI-994 A's like on eBay these are like the cheapest retro A-bit computers you can buy right now I mean I've seen them go for as low as like 20 bucks or something on eBay and uh, and this is just like the the black and silver model this is just in the beige case they're basically the same thing so and you will not need the program I'm going to type in, I, I looked through the magazines online and I found one that does not require TI Extended Basic, which is good because most of these that you get on eBay don't come with that. Uh, so yeah, we're about to get started here. So this is the program I found that I can type in and does it require the extended basic this requires ordinary TI basic show a little bit of this program this is a game and I think they've got a picture of it no they don't have a picture of it alright I thought they had a picture of it It's not too long. It's a couple of pages. And I like to go back to the original listing. I mean, you can find these listings where they uh, have gotten like a character reader to, to read, you know, and turn the, gra the, the image into like actual text. But you can't always go by that because it makes mistakes. And if you like, try to you know copy and paste it it may not work because the character re recognition isn't that good uh, I'm sorry to say whenever they had converted this over let me see I think I might have that in a different yeah okay right here see like here's the program listing that they had converted over and I mean, it it looks okay, but more than likely there are mistakes in here because simply because of the, the character recognition isn't always that good. So that's why I'm going to use the original listing here shown. So let me get started here. An image of the computer. Oh yeah, let me show you something else. Hang on. Now, for storage, I'm going to use this this laptop, modern laptop, running Audacity. 
and I'm going to save this program via the cassette port and I wish you luck and if you're going to do this I mean you can get a you can get a cassette cable and it just go it has a a speaker and a microphone uh, connectors up there just connect up to the computer however not all computers are created equal okay so the sound uh, device on your machine may vary you may like this is the fourth computer that I tried to record uh, program to load to save and load programs from the TI-994A this is the only one that can do it uh, I don't know why but apparently the it has a either the, the sound device inside of it is better or or not as good as the other computers I've tried but that's just the way it is so your mileage may vary okay <laughs> But that's how I'm going to store this program. Now I'm going to top in. Okay, so I'm going to, and pardon the cameras. I'm using webcams. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn this beastie on. Now I love the hardware. I love the keyboard. It, it's it's quality hardware, but the basics terrible. Okay. <laughs> And some of you might say, well, you know, it's a better basic than you can write. And I would say no, because I've written basics before, okay? <laughs> I've got uh, I've got a basic that I wrote for Android that's uh, on my website. And uh, it's real easy to program. <laughs> so, uh, this basic's terrible. But we're going to, you know, try to go with it here. Let's see. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> it's long. It's long. Well, it's not that long. A couple of pages, but when you're recording it, you know. And for some reason, they've got some rim statements in here that we don't need. So I'm gonna. Not type those in. I don't see any point. Let's see. Message equals looks like the M1. Oh no, dude! <laughs> 189. No. Uh oh. I am not used to this keyboard. Let's get rid of 189. List it. See how slow it is. It's but anyways, we'll work with it. I have to, I have to program on this computer. But this will help me get acquainted with the computer, and so when I translate some of my games to it, it'll be, it'll be much easier, supposedly. dire need of a uh, backspace key but you know if this is all you got you know then I mean you know it's all you got so and it's it's a computer you know so 
that you can uh, you can do basic programs on. So there are worse computers, to be fair, <laughs> you know. And like I said, it's not the hardware. Oh, I messed up again. It's not the hardware. It's you know, it's the basic. It's just it's so slow, and uh, you know, it's a single line input. Where on the Ataris and the Commodores, it's uh, you've got full you got a full screen editor you can curse around in. So it's you know. Slight disadvantage there, but like programming, I gotta change the page here. So like programming on this is, so this would be like programming on the color computers. You know, they had uh, a similar type ed screen editor, or you know, not not a full not a you couldn't just cursor around. You you know you had to enter basically one line at a time. Uh, so this is would be like trying to type a program on one of those. And I'm just basically trying to follow the uh, the listing. It's on the screen over here. hard to type and do that at the same time but I'm going to try right, got a call sound here now that's something else about the the TI basic is uh, you could only put you can only have one command on a line I think is that right Now, extended basic, you could have more than one command per line, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong. Like I said, I've only had this computer for like a couple of months or something, and this is really the first time that I've wrote anything significant on it. Or, you know, uh, well, this, I didn't write this program. This program is from 1983, but and it's written by somebody else. Uh, it is written, and I'm sorry I should have mentioned that to begin with. It's uh, T.I. Towers, and it was written by Raymond J. Harrod, and it was published in Compute Magazine in their September issue, 1983. And it's issue 40, by the way, for those interested. And I will make this program available. Uh, as a WAV file on my website when I get done typing it in. So you guys don't have to type it in. You can just, you know, use a, a tape recorder and load it into your own machine if you want to. Let's see, 330. That's Type a little bit more here, and then I'm going to try to save it because I don't like to lose code if I can't if I can help it. Save often, you know. I don't have this machine on a on a backup power supply, so now I'm going to see. I guess I shouldn't skip these lines because now. I'm, I bet it will probably reference somewhere, you know. So, okay, I think, you yeah, know, I think that's a good stopping point that I'm going to save it. Oh, see, it's so slow, dude. Okay. Uh, let's see. Save. CS 
one. Record button, enter. goes okay you sit like show that oh I'm gonna stop it uh, okay now apparently now these are other TI programs that I saved and you know it was like basically tests so here's the latest one, and I got those muted, okay? So I'm going to try to load that back in. Okay. Check it. Oh, oh and i got to turn up the gain all the way for some reason. The TI likes to have the gain turned up. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, cool. So, saved it as fun. Let me mute that out here. Listing. Now, of course, if we ran this, you know, nothing would happen because, well, I mean, you get errors, right? See? Yeah. It was 180. It's like a ghost of pro yeah. So, gotta type in the rest of it before anything magical will happen. So just bear with me.